Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the exact step-by-step -step process to take your store from $0 to $1,000 a day on Shopify dropshipping. Um, before we dive in, if you're someone who's totally new to this channel and never been to this channel before, make sure you leave a comment and like this video because it will help me to grow my YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate that. And do make sure you watch this video till the end because uh, I'm going to show you guys the exact step-by-step -step process on how I'm how I took the store from zero dollars to ten thousand dollar dollars per month on sales so we can see here I have hidden some uh, main points because uh, I want you guys to watch this video completely so uh, mostly I'll be showing you guys uh, before I show you guys the strategy I want to show you guys the numbers so uh, this is a shop fire store I was talking about so you can see it here um, so on 20th uh, on Saturday uh, we made a thousand dollars on thousand fifty eight dollars you can see it here and on the next day we made thousand dollars and it's today uh, 424 dollars it's 6 p.m now so uh, mostly we will make uh, making 600 to 700 dollars in the uh, night time because uh, i'm from india and uh, mostly my sales come from uh, united states and canada so uh, we make uh, more sales on the night so uh, you can see it here so for today we made uh, 421 and uh, so these are total visitors so it looks like shop we made some changes to their dashboard so these are some real numbers i'm not going to uh, so let me uh, refresh the screen so you can see these numbers are not some fake numbers or uh, inspect elementary i have already made a lot of videos on youtube uh, showing you guys on um, how to make 150 dollars uh, with uh, shopper drop shipping if you're someone who's totally new make sure you watch this video it's a low budget facebook ad strategy uh, if you're someone who's pretty struggling to uh, spend money on facebook ads make sure you watch that and uh, let's talk about the profits on that one thousand dollar we made two hundred eighty dollars on uh, pure profit after all the expenses like uh, paypal fees uh, cogs and the ad spend facebook ad spend we only drive traffic from facebook ads we're not using any other traffic source right now so uh let me show you guys the strategy and um let's dive in so the targeting countries are uh, i used to target tier one countries united states united kingdom australia and canada so uh you can also do the same thing and uh, let me show you guys how many ad sets need to be created so uh, i start with 10 ad sets uh you can see it here so individual interest i'm not uh, going to uh, um, do flex targeting like um nk shoppers or online uh, shoppers because uh, when you do that uh, the cpm cost will go up because uh, pretty much everyone do the same thing that's why so i'll i'll do one interest per ad set like uh, if i'm targeting uh, if i'm selling dog product I'll do dog here and I'll uh, target uh, dog lovers. Uh, I love puppies, all something like that. So, like, I, I, also, I also target some uh, brands. So, uh, mm, like Walmart or else uh, um, some dog stores, uh, pet stores. Uh, you can also do that. You can find those interests on uh, Facebook search. After that, mm, let me show you guys the placements. Uh, so, this is the exact placements I use, uh, which is uh, Facebook feed and Instagram feed. I don't use uh, Facebook stories and uh, Instagram stories because uh, so this is where you need to spend your majority of money because if you are someone who's uh, um, have very less budget then uh, just don't uh, spend your money on Instagram stories or uh, uh, Facebook stories because uh, Facebook feed and Instagram feed has high converting customers compared to uh, the stories so uh, so let me show you guys the next one which is uh, I do seven day click or one day view i have tested other four options sorry other three options and uh, the cost per purchase were um, very less on this one compared to uh, those other things are uh, the one day view or else uh, uh, one day click so just go ahead and select seven day click or one day view which is uh, working perfectly well for me so so this is the exact steps i take to uh, test my product so this is where you're going to test your product you just need to follow the exact steps so you can test your product so um you can do five dollars per day assets or three dollar per day ads that's not that much important because if it's a good product it's going to sell if it's a good offer to customer they're going to buy so uh, always focus on uh, increasing your conversion rate on your store and um, providing them value and uh, the third one is uh, uh, giving them a good offer because uh, let's say you're selling some um, jacket and uh, the jacket cost in alix sorry the amazon is uh, fifty dollars and you're selling it for one hundred fifty dollars people are not going to buy that you need to be very um, careful on uh, pricing your products because uh, always uh, compare your store price with amazon ebay and um, other stores uh, 
So try to have the same margin. Like uh, if Amazon is selling it for forty dollars, try to sell it for forty nine ninety nine. It might work. So uh, I do the exact same thing because uh, I don't overprice my product. At the same time, I don't uh, underprice my product. So that's very very important. Just uh, remember that. So uh, just let let the ads run for three days. So it's going to uh, each ads is going to spend uh, fifteen dollars per day. If you're someone who's running uh, five dollar per ad, then it will spend fifteen dollars. So with the exact rules you need to follow is uh, um, just follow 5, 10 and 15. So uh, once it's spent $5, it should have at least uh, um, 3 to 4 plus uh, link clicks. And uh, once it's spent $10, it should at least have uh, um, one add to cart or else uh, one initial checkout. And once it's spent $15, it should have at least one sale. So if it's not having more than one sale, just turn it off. It's not worth it. So this is the exact rules I follow so uh, I can turn off the bad ads and uh, reduce my losses. Uh. So just follow the same exact rules and after three to five days uh, you can start doing retargeting because you need audience to do retargeting. That's the reason you're waiting till uh, three to five days. Uh. So let me show you guys what are the audience you can create. So uh, so you need to create five different ad sets. So the first ad set is going to be view content ad sets. Uh, so if you are someone who's running uh, image ads, then uh, you will be having a view content pixel uh, custom audience. So you can create a view content lookalike. Sorry, view content custom audience and uh, do seven day click or one day view all placement, auto placement. And uh, the second ad set is going to be add to cart, uh, seven day click or one day view. And the third one is going to be initiate checkout, seven day click or one day view. And uh, if you are someone who's running video uh, video ads, then you can do video views. Uh, so seven day click or uh, one day view. You can create three different uh, um, custom audience from video views: uh, ninety five percent, seventy five percent, and uh, fifty percent. And you can retarget them. Uh, so uh, mostly you'll be having more uh, uh, custom audience on view content. So uh, always start with view content, and uh, so once it start once it started performing well, then you can move on to other things. Uh, so the next step is uh, once uh, your retargeting ad started performing well, uh, you need to move on to localize. Uh. So before you move on to localize, let me show you guys the cool trick which I uh, learned it from my mentor, uh, which is uh, so uh, you need to focus on which retargeting audience is performing well because uh, so let's say uh, you create view content, add to cart, initial checkout, and video views, and uh, initial checkout is uh, is the only uh, ad set which is uh, giving you a lot of sales. Uh. Then you should start with initial checkout lookalike. Uh, because uh, just think about it uh, it's a custom audience uh, so that custom audience is performing well then that custom audience has a lot of customers in it uh, so if you create uh, look like from that it's going to give you a high quality uh, uh, look like audience uh, so uh, if view content is not working then if you create a look like it's going to give you the same customers uh, so uh, that's a cool trick so uh, if initial checkout is working for you then create look like on initial checkout uh, 1 to 10 percent and uh, before you create look like uh, you need to uh, understand uh, so you need to break down your uh, campaigns and see which uh, countries is performing well because uh, you're targeting uh, three different countries four different countries united states united kingdom australia and c8 all tyrone countries so mostly one country will outperform everything so uh, uh, you need to create look like on that one uh, country so uh, if initial checkout is working well for me then i'll what i'll be doing is uh, I'll create a custom audience on initial checkout and I'll create lookalike on United States only. So like 1 to 10%. So uh, let me show you guys uh, when to launch your lookalike audience. So once your retargeting audience started performing well, move on to lookalike, lookalike audience because uh, uh, cold audience will give you sales but um, they will die off. But lookalike is where you're going to make a lot of money because lookalike is the most, uh, more uh, stable compared to cold audience. So look like it's a cold audience, but still it's more stable compared to the interest audience. So let me show you guys. So like like I said, uh, break it down by countries on which country is performing well and start creating look like audience on that. Also check which retargeting audience is giving you results. Like I said, um, you need to create look like out of which retargeting is working. And uh, let me show you guys this one. So. Uh, it's totally depend on your budget. You can do 10 ads on day one or else uh, you can do three or five ads per day on lookalike. 
So uh, it's totally dependent on your budget. Like I do uh, uh, five ads per day on look like I first test one to five percent, and uh, on the next day I'll test other five to ten percent. So uh, you you need to follow the same exact rules. Uh, five dollars, ten dollars, uh, um, <clears throat> and fifteen dollars. Uh, so uh, one or more, sorry, you need to have three or more plus link clicks after spending five dollars and uh, on ten dollars it should have at least one or um one or one at a cart or one initial checkout and on 15 it should have one sales so these rules are pretty much common for uh, both uh, individual interests and uh, look like and for uh, um, retargeting so uh, let me show you guys the what are the uh, look like audience you can create uh, so these are the look like audience you can create uh, on your Facebook Ads Manager, so uh, view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase, um, visitors by time spent, uh, which is work on, which is uh, performing very well on uh, my ad account, and video views. You can create uh, three to four different uh, uh, custom audience: ninety-five percent, seventy-five percent, fifty percent, and twenty-five percent. And ad engages uh, and uh, page engages. Uh, you can create all these. Uh, uh, custom audience and you can create look like from them and you need to test them daily like uh, So let me show you guys how, when you need to test them up. So once you started doing look likes you need to start to test uh, new campaigns every day like uh, You need to launch uh, Let's say on Monday you're launching a campaign um, and you're testing uh, one to ten percent So it's going to take you two days to test one look like audience uh, so uh, like on day one You'll be testing five assets on day two you'll be testing the remaining like um, the five to ten percent uh, so once you're done with the look like you need to move on to the next one so it will be taking every two days you'll be creating uh, uh, new campaigns and you'll be finding a uh, new look like winners uh. so let's say on out of uh, the first three uh, look like audience so uh, let's say you, you find like uh, 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 two winners on each look likes like uh, so that's six uh, different assets so now you can um, uh, scale them by vertically like uh, uh, you can put them all together on a CBO campaign and you can um, um, put a budget of $100 or $150 and it's going to perform well because it's already proven that it's working with a normal asset budget. Now it's going to perform well on uh, uh, CBO. So this is the exact step I used to take my store from $0 to $1,000 per day on sales. So uh, this, this is the exact strategy I used and uh, this method is really working well uh, right now. So uh, try to utilize it and... Uh, Thank you for watching that's it guys and uh, make sure you leave a comment and leave a like so it will be helping me to grow my youtube channel and see you guys in the next video